Today I'm going to teach you guys how to drive a forklift. Step one. Step two. That's how you put this thing up. That's how you tilt it back. And that's how you move it sideways. I hope that's a parking brake. It, it wasn't. Oh, that, it's the blinker. <laughs> Turn on your blinker to go forward. I got friends in low places. Broom, broom. <laughs> I'm lifting me car up. Broom, broom. Jeez. <laughs> Wee. And bye. I'm just gonna drive this to 7 Eleven. Bye. <laughs> Hog all friends in low places. Do you need a lift? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna drive it to 7 Eleven. Hey, lift your porch up. Go, <laughs> no, go. No. No, no. Just zoom in. <laughs> Brian's like, I shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I just found it in the yard over there, so it's mine now. Don't tell anyone though, okay? Do, 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 do. Oh, come on. I'm trying to drive here. Hey, do you need a lift? I can get your the front of your truck if you need. No. Oh, no. Take it nice and sweet and sassy. All right. And now you're a licensed forklift driver, every, everyone. Great job. You passed with flying colors. Use your rear view mirrors. You wouldn't want to bonk into anybody. When I was young, I used to shoot, practice shooting all the time in my backyard. I got really good. It's so nostalgic to use a bow and arrow. Also, when I was young, I used to shoot squirrels with my BB gun and I'd skin the squirrels. And I had like probably five, at least five fence posts with skinned squirrels. Just I nailed them to the fence post. Gosh, man. I was a weirdo. And these are these are the only these are the appropriate stories that I can tell you, <laughs> without you thinking that I'm a serial killer or that I could have been a serial killer. If I tried hard enough, I could have been a serial killer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to play? You want to be in my band, dude? We call ourselves the Arrowheads. We only consist of drummers that use arrows for sticks. <laughs> Whenever I got arrested for jumping over the cop, he said, you're being, you're being charged with culpable negligence. It's similar to if you take a bow and arrow and shoot it into the air. Or actually, that was my lawyer who explained that to me. What are you doing? My wallet. He's looking for his wallet. Billy loses his wallet the past day. Yesterday and then today he lost his wallet. So he, really? Yeah. And the day before that. He's a forgetful Francis. <laughs> These ear tips look like they're dead. They look like they're deceased and they're laying in a casket the color of like a dead human. They look like grandma. Excuse me, sir. Are you waiting for the dogs to race? Yeah. Are you just enjoying the morning? Yes, cool it, yeah. Me too. Do you have any suggestions for who I should bet on? Of course not. Of course not. Oh, no, but you don't have any inside tips? Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> Bet the one and the eight? One and eight. Okay. And those are the dogs that have steroids? Yeah, of course. Okay, cool. I inject them. You do it yourself? Okay, so I know it's legit. Yeah, I'll keep it on the down low. Oh, they also smoke pot, the dogs do? Well, they'll def those are my dogs then. One and eight? <laughs> Oh, certain pet shops. <laughs> You're a funny guy. The dogs are funny guys. Just neighborhood kids. We're just a part of the neighborhood gang. Better watch out, we're gonna beat you up later. <laughs> oh, we're, we're the tattooless gang. That's the name of it actually. Yeah, the no tats. Yeah, no, we're not accepted in, another, in, in the rest of the culture. Just because we have so many no tats. Oh, the stick on tats. 
If I did that, my, my, the gang leader might kill me. So I don't try, I don't do any of that risky business. What happened with the bees? Um, the bees tore all of them up yesterday. Kids trying to get honey. Oh, you got stung five or six times. <laughs> Come on, go. Get that shit. Come on. Get the f off my trailer. <laughs> Not just Cole. <laughs> Cole was just the one that wanted to get the honey. I guess, yeah. They were fighting all of us. And then Cole wanted the honey, I guess, so he. <laughs> Climb up the tree. <laughs> no, we had it down on the ground. Once we, <laughs> well, we dropped the whole log and then we we couldn't get near it for a minute. Actually, Cole climbed past the bear that was climbing up the tree to get the honey. <laughs> Blower, did you get into the powdered donuts? Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. No, no, I didn't. Okay, it's just that. You sure look like you did. Yeah. You sure do look like you did. I just know Morgan's gonna cut this, so it's not even worth recording. <laughs> These are the beads that Cole got into the other day. Zoom in close on them. Dang, man, there's so many. I don't want to get near them. Maybe Cole will go pick up the hive. He probably will. Oh my God, there's so freaking many. Dude, Cole just brings them all home with him in his truck. He's like, oh, they got some good honey in there. Here, I'm Cole. Oh shoot, they got some good honey in there. <laughs> That's Cole. Cole it's like, I, I don't talk like that. <laughs> no, dude. It looks like Cole really is bringing the hive home with him. <laughs> Oh my God, he is, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> I can just imagine everybody getting stung and wanting to get so far away, but Cole's like, oh dude, I gotta get that, man. Oh man, we can take that hive home and put it in one of my trees. Then it'll get free honey for the rest of the year. No, dude, no. I guess they had visitors pulling into the driveway too fast or something. Dude, slow down when you pull in my driveway. Their kids come home too fast. Dad, can we please take the speed bump out of the driveway? No, you should be pulling in there at a very low speed, son. But I like pulling in at 100 miles an hour. 15 max, son. Ah, I hate you, dad, you're the worst. You're the worst dad in the world. Whoa, that just started with nobody in it. Excuse me, sir, I think a ghost is trying to steal your car. What's up? A, a ghost is trying to steal oh, your car? Yeah. The wireless startup. Oh. freaking people out with that. I thought it was a ghost. Am I on TV? You're, yeah. Oh. You're famous now. See how fat I was? I was a big fat fatty. I had I I probably should go on a diet. I just look in the mirror every day and say, <laughs> fat fatty big big fatty fat head. Okay, done with my tools. Look, dude, there's bottles of pee in here. That's disgusting. I'm in me shed. Broom broom. <laughs> What are you gonna throw your glasses on your face? Ouch! I banged my tooth. What? I'm smooth. I'm smooth. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, hey ladies. <laughs> Hello there, sir. Frick, one more time. <clears throat> Hello there, sir. <laughs> that was smooth, right? You thought it was smooth? Hello there, sir. Hello. Hi, how are you? All right, your turn to put it on. Go, bum. <laughs> Hello there, sir. <laughs> now put it on fast, though, and you'll be. No, I'll kill my eye. <laughs> I'll kill. I'll stab my eye. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done, too. He's done. I'm done first. <laughs> done. Hey, man, can I help you push it out of the road? Yeah, yeah, that'd be very helpful. Hey, you can drop all those pallets off of my friend's house because we need them for a fire, okay? Okay. okay. And now watch as I run through three lanes of traffic in the middle of the intersection and cause everybody to stop. 
This will be the best stunt I've ever done. Watch it for a second. Let me walk right through there and get my, my jump block. Little does he know I'm going to steal it from him. That guy just like left me with his car. Okay, it's mine. I'm in Miss Stranger's car. Broom, broom. Appreciate you. No, don't worry about giving me any money. I appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you. Just a big, uh, big fat hug will do. Hey. Hey, I appreciate <laughs> you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Oh, and a kiss. Oh, and all of your money. Oh, and uh, some Jolly Ranchers. Oh, and uh, your daughter's hand in marriage.